starting the second test of the um, uh, condenser lid for uh, Grandfather, I've adjusted and actually created, well, not created, I've just used the existing Grandfather lid and I've drilled the hole there for the wildless uh, uh, two inch tri-clamp bulkhead. And I put the, put the lid on that one there for now, because I've just started bringing up the temperature of about eight gallons of water or 30 liters. And it started about two minutes ago. So we'll see how long it takes to get to uh, close to boil. <clears throat> Concerns about the lid being, um, about it being closed, etc. There are holes in these lids, right? So there is an opportunity for steam to escape there. Um, but as it gets closer to the boil, what I'll do is I'll replace the blank with the actual condenser. So give this a minute. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, so I've got the condenser set up and it's hooked up. The grandfather lid is latched. It's at 212 right now. I removed the lid at uh, 208 Fahrenheit and um, it looked like it was boiling at the time. Definitely water coming up, but it wasn't a rolling boil. So I'm gonna make the assumption that when I remove the lid at around 207, 208 to set up the steam condenser, right? Um, that there's a good chance it could be boiling at that point. So what I will do is I will wait until I get to about 210 and then I'll put my first hop additions in there just before it starts really hitting a rolling boil, right? Or sorry, I'll wait till it starts hitting a rolling boil, put the hop additions in, then put the lid back on because I want to make sure I get, uh, I don't get a boil over or any problems with uh, the hops. So um, anyhow, so I put it in, as you can see, it's latched down. Um, there, these holes here are providing some steam and if I can get it over the camera, you might be able to, no, you can't. There's a little bit coming out of here, right? It's hot or warm, I guess, right? The lid is going to be hot. Uh, the condenser is working fine. This problem that I had uh, previously has been fixed. Um, what the issue is, is this duo type piece here is uh, pipe thread. So NPT versus hose, the hose thread. So the hose thread, even though it fits in here, it's not the right thread. So therefore what happens is you get a leak. That's what the leak was coming from. So there is a, uh, a converter from hose thread to pipe thread and then right into here and there's no problem, right? I've got the water turned on, as you can hear it, right? There is water coming out there. Let's see if I can, I don't know if I can zoom in. Let's, oop, there we go. Uh, there, you can see that. The water is hot, but it's not, it's hot. Like if I was to hold my hand in there, it's gonna be like, ooh, that's hot, right? But it's not, excessive and it's not as bad as it was in the previous test the previous test there was a lot more heat coming out of here there's still heat right there's still heat here and there's heat definitely coming out of here out of these holes here right or steam right but there's definitely a lot less problems here so i may be able to go without having to, to cover this up and, and drop a a um a lid on there. So I'm going to see if I can turn this up just a little bit and see how it goes. So you hear the spray, the spray's gone up a little bit just by, by adjusting that. And there is water, more water coming out. Let me just check it and see. Still hot, very hot. So this will be good for cleaning, definitely. No two ways about it. And there's going to be a lot more water in here this time than there was the last time. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of a, a lid on here, right? Not for any other reason. The boil started at about uh, 
20 past 11, right? So it's been going for about five minutes now. Uh, and I'm using 212 as the boil mark. So um, just to see what I have in terms of a um, boil off rate. <clears throat> as you can see, I have uh, jury rigged a little bit of a um, support. Uh, my concern with there we go. My concern with, and this isn't exactly the greatest support as you can see. Ideally, if I put it on here, this is a bit short, you know, so anyway. Um, my concern is this lid is a flat or flatter lid. It's not as domed as the jury rigged one I, I had created, but the seal is a lot better, obviously. So um, I would say that this is probably gonna be the solution I'm gonna go with. Again, uh, no issues up top. I'm not seeing any, there's heat, which is good, but there's like, there's next to no steam here, which is awesome. So I'm pretty impressed. Uh, so there's your, your potential solution for brewing indoors with the S40, right? You're gonna, if you want to uh, um, get yourself another lid you can do that i i've got one on order just to just to have a a lid right uh but ideally uh this lid seems to be holding up on its own right uh the handle i had, I had to remove because of where i wanted to place the steam condenser right um but all i did is i replaced the the two little nuts and screws there i think having these holes here is important because there is, a, it does allow some escape, uh, just in case there's any major problems building up in there. I, I don't think there will be, uh, but you know, hey, you, you want to be sure. Uh, comment from one of the um, folks in the uh, S40 user group was, um, you know, aren't you worried about boil over? Well, yes and no. I mean, like I said, the idea here is that I'm going to put the hops in my 60 minute or 90 minute or what have you addition in here before I add this entire contraption onto this, thereby allowing that hot break to occur and then I'll be good. Now, future hop additions means, yes, removing this equipment here off of this in order to drop some hops in, maybe just tipping it up and just, you know, uh, dropping the hops in, but uh, that's, that's how I'm gonna do it, so we'll see. Uh, I'll let you know on the brew day.